My name is Akeem. I write Zepster. is my graffiti name, my b-boy. A music name is Zeproxy. And um, I'm here now in Jakarta at the graffiti exhibition opening. Um, I started like with hip hop in the age of 13. It was 1983, so it's almost 30 years ago. And for me, it was a culture with, which catched me totally. Um, so what we try to do is like to, to build, let's say, a more official network, work with the institutions and also teach and exchange our experience with, with other people in, in, in Asia. So we try a little bit like to help with our experience and do exchange projects. Um, and besides Berlin, Jakarta, we did also Berlin, Moscow. And I have an idea um, for next year to do a project because um, we also want not only to go to other countries, we also want to invite the guests to Germany so there's like a real exchange and um, I think it's the best way how, how countries can get closer together if you invest in the, in the young generation. kita bikin uh, mural di uh, terowongan Blora uh, itu satu proses di mana kita mix kita lebur di situ dalam satu proses kreatif dan kemudian uh, uh, kita bikin satu uh, pameran uh, di pameran itu juga kita mengeluarkan kanvas kanvas kita kita juga uh, mengeluarkan masing-masing uh, foto-foto dokumentasi bagaimana kegiatan kreatif yang terjadi di dua kota sebenarnya di Jakarta maupun di Berlin gitu jadi uh, kalau misalkan kita datang ke pameran uh, ini kita uh, bisa kebayang uh, seperti apa sih kegiatan dari dari uh, dari dua kota itu kegiatan kreatif dari orang-orang yang ada di dua kota itu gitu. Graffiti scene in Indonesia is very interesting actually because there's uh, many centers uh, where you can find very elaborate graffiti more actually in other parts of, of Asia. I've been traveling a lot in Southeast Asia uh, for example India a lot uh, I spent some time in Thailand, in Malaysia and now last year in Indonesia and I must say um, I've been living in Jogja and Jogja graffiti scene is just crazy there's so much diversity, so many different styles Almost every third or fourth uh, kid is tagging or doing some kind of, of uh, urban art, be it illustration or graphic design on the road, be it tagging, bombing or piecing, all the levels are represented, it's uh, just amazing. And Jakarta itself also has uh, very good artists, very highly skilled levels uh, of technique and style. Yeah, I'm, I was surprised when I first came to Indonesia of how evolved the scene is over here. nggak biasa aja sih soalnya biasanya kalau street art di luar kan uh, tempatnya nggak terlalu tertutup dan ini lumayan tertutup terus harapan gue untuk um, bukan dibilang pemula juga sih maksudnya selain pemula dan teman-teman street artist lebih berkembang aja karena contohnya udah keren-keren gitu yang pasti generasi berikutnya harus bisa lebih dari mereka gitu aja <tuh> Okay, some advice to graffiti writers in Indonesia. I'm, I'm old, but maybe not that old to give real advices. But um, I think it's good 
to to stick together and really understand you're in a movement. There's no need, like let's say, for too much competition or like to go over each other. You're much stronger if you work together. First, second, it's also it started in New York. It started, let's say, in in the streets, um, and it was like mainly, let's say, happening on the trains. Nowadays we have a little bit different time, so I, I see also let's say development where here in Asia people are much more open. They are not so negative about graffiti, so don't ruin it. I mean, if you bump around and let's they, say make only like damage and vandalism, of course there will be no support. But I think here you can get a lot of free walls. We never would get walls like this in Germany, so. Don't fuck around with it and really appreciate it that you're in this position. And maybe let's say think before you act, right? So um, then you have a, a bright future for sure.